A company establishes a fund of 120 from which it wants to pay an amount C to any of its 20 employees who achieve a high performance level. Each employee has a 2% chance of achieving high performance level. The events of different employees achieving a high performance level during the coming year are independent. Calculate the maximum value of C for which the probability is less than 1% that the fund will be inadequate to cover all payments for high performance. Now, uh, the probability of inadequacy of funds to be less than 1% means that the probability of adequacy of funds is greater than 99%. And um, we want to maximize C uh, giving uh, under the limit that uh, the total reward is 120 C's reward per person. And therefore, um, to maximize C, we would like to minimize X, but at the same time, we have to keep in mind that whichever employee qualifies uh, has to be given the reward. So we can't just select the minimum value of X, which would be one. You know, we have to uh, find um, that what is that minimum value of X so that the probability um, exceeds, for that cumulative value exceeds 99% since uh, 90, we want more than 99% probability of the funds to be adequate. So the number of employees who will get the reward uh, follow binomial distribution because uh, an employee will either get the reward or not. And there are a maximum of 20 employees. So N is 20 and there's 2% chance of success. And the binomial formula, which is NCX, so N is 20 and little p power X, and here we have one minus p, which is one minus 0.02, that's 0.98, power n minus x, so 20 minus x. And uh, uh, the reward limit, as we just said, is 120, and um, each employee gets c. So it means uh, the total reward that will be given out will be x times c, uh, where x is the number of employees who qualify for the reward and that has uh, to be limited by this 120. And also, uh, we want to see that what is that cumulative probability where uh, we exceed 99%, which means um, uh, that we have more than 99% chance of uh, that many employees getting uh, the reward. And uh, we want, the minimum X, because we want to minimize our X to maximize C, but uh, we also have this condition, the cumulative probability uh, needs to be greater than 0.99. So when X is, we tabulate the different values, when X is zero, we substitute zero here to get uh, this probability, and that will also be the cumulative probability at the zero level. And then for one, we get, um, this one, and so the cumulative would be the addition of these two, which is 94%. So we have to keep going till we cross 99%, and uh, which we do once we also add in the x equals 2 probability. So this is saying that more than 90, there's more than 99% probability that two or less persons will receive the award. So note that we cannot stop at one because at that point, there's only about 94% probability that one or less person uh, will get the reward. And uh, we're looking for greater than 99%. So uh, setting x c equals two, we've determined that the minimum x uh, that we can have under these conditions is two. So two c equals two, that gives c equals 60. And that is choice D.